Measuring tapes are basic in the sewing room. You use them every day and you use them so much it's advisable, I do that, to have a few in the sewing room just in case you lose one at that some point. And because it's so very useful we're going to have a look at it really carefully and see all the secrets we can get from it as well as little tips that make your life easier. When we think about machine tapes in the sewing room, I think we all have the same idea or the same thought of this yellow one. This is like the classic one. And they are 1 meter 50 long and they are very well thought because you can measure both sides, but not in the same direction. I mean, if you grab your machine tape, you're measuring and you're in a rush, and you grab your machine tape on the wrong end, on the 1 meter 50 end, you just have to flip it and you have the zero on the other side so you can uh, measure straight away. Of course when you're measuring if you need a certain amount you measure right below the number you want to or you need to and then you will have to measure millimeters on the front here because then the rest is just half it's just the five millimeters in between the whole numbers but it's okay we can do it. Another very useful thing about the machining tape is that you get the halves of even numbers. So it's quite useful. For example, if you were measuring 20 centimeters and you needed the half of that, which is 10, it's written down there. So it's quite useful because it's a very quick way of working. And then of course you don't have the halves of odd numbers, but it's quite easy because you have the 18, for example, which is nine, and then you have the 20 which is 10 and that way you know it's 9.5 so it's quite useful as well. That was just an example of course it was very obvious but if you're working with more difficult numbers and you need halves for example of 78 or 106 or something like that you have it right away. This one it's all in centimeters but of course the measuring tapes that you get with centimeters and inches. There's no problem with that, you can work with inches, it's fine. One inch is 2.54 centimeters, if I don't recall badly. And there's no problem at all, you can work with inches, uh, there's people who usually do it. But I will say that if you start operating in inches, just go on with the inches, don't change uh, halfway around just in case you get something wrong. Same as with recipes, if you start with grams, stick to grams, and if you start with ounces, stick to them. I'm sure you've seen that I keep my machine tapes on Marie Antoinette. But I, it's really funny because it's something you see every day and I hadn't really realized it has a hole. And one subscriber, Marta, told me a few videos ago it has a hole and it's supposed uh, to be for keeping it hanging. You should keep it hung because that way if we roll it, we tend to roll it because it's one of these flexible things, we roll and it's fun to roll it, but it stretches, I had heard that, it stretches and then you end up with a loosened measuring tape and you get the wrong measures. So that's really bad. On the other hand, it's true as well that if you haven't got a sewing room, if you haven't got the room, the space, to hang it, uh, it's quite useful to just keep it like that in your sewing box. But if you don't have any other way, you should keep it not in a tight uh, roll, but a loosened one. And another useful use of the hole is that, which I think is the main use, is to make circles. The other day I was tracing a tree skirt for the Christmas tree and uh, I did it by holding it. I didn't realize I could just put a pin there and turn it so I had my circle. I was fine, but this is much more useful. The only thing is that you have to take into account the half a centimeter you waste when you do that. But the rest is fantastic, I mean. 
In the beginning I said that this measuring tape is really useful because it has the halves of even numbers. But if you didn't have it, for example this one hasn't got it, what you can do to work really easily and to have a nice workflow is just to fold it. I mean, if you have one measure and you need to get the center of this measure, what you need to do is just fold it not mm, fold it like you're going to break it but fold it and that way you have the half it's really useful it make work really easy really fast i do it a lot and i highly recommend it Machine tapes are really easy to work with you just need to hold it at the same time you hold your fabric and straighten it both at the same time but if you don't have hands or if you feel a bit clumsy and you have the room and you can't afford to do it one easy thing you can do and i'm really glad i did is that and what I did is that I glued a measuring tape on the side of my cutting table. It's really useful and it's really easy to use as well because you just need to hold your fabric and measure on the side like this. This has always been done in haberdasheries, in fabric shops. It's not my idea or anything like that. Nothing original going on here, but it's really useful and it makes your workflow really nice and easy. And I think nowadays they sell a magnetic one and uh, ones with glue on the, on the back so you can glue them right away, but it's changed my workflow completely. The downside of measuring yourself is that you have to measure yourself on your own. So if you haven't got anyone to help you with it, it's a bit difficult sometimes because you adopt strange uh, positions and you even sometimes twist yourself to have a look at the measurement and if you're looking it right, so you get the wrong measurement and it affects the result. And one thing that always happens, for example, if is with the measurement of uh, skirts, dresses or trousers of the hem. So what I do, what I've always done is that instead of setting the zero on my waistline, what I do is that I do it upside down and that way I put the zero down where I like it to be and I have my number on the waistline. So that way it's much easier and you don't have this problem. The measuring tape is all about flexibility, so it's made for your body to adapt to every little curve. But as well, you can also use it on your cutting table when you want to make sure about a pattern measure. For example, if you wanted to make sure about how you traced a sleeve and you want to measure the armhole, you can do it by placing your measuring tape on its side. And that way Way, you hold it of course you can measure the armhole and then the arch of your sleeve and that way well the cap of your sleeve and that way you make sure it's well traced really useful I've been looking for it but I haven't found the picture but I've seen before that they make ones a bit more rigid nowadays so you can place it on the side and it sticks to that position and it's easier to measure like that. Let's see if I can find it. So these are the things I know about the machine tape and all the little tips I gather things I do and things I've been learning. Take into account, we're always learning. I've learned on my own. And for example, the thing about the hole, I only learned two videos ago, which is crazy. So leave down below your comments with different tips. I'm sure you have great ideas or great tips with the measuring tape. That of course will be useful for anyone who's learning and for myself as well. I really appreciate all your little tips. So if you like this kind of content, consider the subscribing I upload a video apparently twice a week because it's been two months I've been uploading twice so that way you don't miss anything you can even tick on the bell so you get a notification for when I upload and give it a like as well 
and don't go just yet because I'll leave you here a link to very interesting videos about talking, talking about sewing, all the things, uh, of course, how to measure yourself, that's really useful, uh, tours of the sewing room uh, as well as hauls, how to keep your sewing room looking good, like good habits in the sewing room, frustrations, and the last one I did was universal truths in the sewing room, which is a gem. So, bye, I'll see you around. They're crows. Oh, wow.